most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. Indian, in, in our opinion, of course. What were you going to say? I Indian, in our opinion? Well, don't worry about it. i got to get to the speech class again. All right. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about paraffin wax, a spa treatment for your hand, wrist, or feet. A As spa? You, it's kind of like a spa at home. Yeah. Yeah, like going to the hot tub? Yeah. For your hand. Okay, yeah, for, good. Yeah, at home. And this is really good for arthritis, tendonitis, and mm -hmm. so on. It is. Um, and the other thing, the, the, the side bonus of this is that it moisturizes your skin. Right. And this is, I can tell you this because my employees down in Rushford, they always put their hand in this thing all winter long. So they're, <laughs> so they're using all treatment, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yep. uh, we were uh, most fortunate here in that the people from FEI, this is their catalog, Fabrication Enterprise Incorporated, they have a lot of products with a lot of different uh, brand names. Sure. And uh, they sent us this, uh, the Waxwell uh, Paraffin Bath. And uh, this is available online or through their distributors or through their catalog. If you're a therapist, you, you want to get their catalog. Right. right. And uh, it's, uh, it's, with the, all the accessories, it's $150. Sure. Uh, without the accessories, I think it's $120. Right. Well, let's find out how to use it. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, you first start off with, you, you're going to get some wax along with it. It sends a bunch of uh, non-scented paraffin wax. You want to sure, make sure you're using paraffin wax and not canning wax or candle wax. With candle wax, it has a melting point of 150 to 170 degrees. Yep. And your skin will burn or scald at 140 degrees. Can you see how that doesn't work out, Brad? So if you, yeah, I mean, if you're one of those people think, well, and I'm one of these people. Yeah, I'm always yeah, trying yeah, to do yeah. the home home stuff. I'm thinking maybe I could use candles and melt it on the on the oven and put my hand in that wax and cost me I'd save 150 bucks. But if you do that at that temperature, you're going to scald your hand. You're going to have to go get skin grafts. It's going to cost you thousands and thousands of dollars, and your hand will not work good. So make I know sure. this because my German teacher. We were making candles when we were kids. Oh yeah. To sell. And, and it, it, it exploded, and Ooh. she got burned. Oh. Um, yeah, not so, severe, but... Uh, yeah, it, it's not like this. Right. This is, feels good. So, again, you're going to want to get the, the Waxwell wax that comes along with it, mm -hmm. and, and if you need some additional, which you might need over time because you need to replenish it. Right, and don't they have some additives if you want to get some uh, moisturizing? I, I think there is oil in there that it helps. And you oh, want that's the oils, existing already. Yeah, already, okay. yeah, so that it'll seep into the skin and, and moisturize the skin. So. Sure. So you're going to go ahead, you plug the unit in. Um, I, I don't think there's any settings on this, is there, Brad? It's just one. No, it's just, you just plug it in right and go. Line, you just plug it in? Yeah, yeah you just plug yeah. it in and it's ready to go. And you're going to you know, read how many of these solid uh, bars of wax to put in there. Of course, it's going to take all night for it to, to liquefy. So right. you're not going to you know, come home and plug it in and do your hands you know, that night. It's going to wait till the next day. And it comes with these little plastic bags that you're going to put over the hand once you've dipped it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, then you can put it within the little mitt sure. that comes in. And now you can do this on your hand or your feet. Right. And, you know, I was thinking with your feet, not only are they good for pain, but you know how the skin gets really dry and cracked on your on Right. Your, uh, on Mostly your feet? with older people. Yeah. Um, so that alone might be a good reason right. to use it for that. Can we get so, to it, Bob? Yeah, let's I'm get anxious. To it. All right. So what you want to do is first, you know, this is, especially if uh, you've tried this the first time, you just want to stick your pinky in there. Yeah. I mean, you want to go ahead and, and just, you feels know. Pretty, feels kind of warm, doesn't it? Yeah, it's warm. Do you want me to do it or? No, or? go ahead, Bob. You do it first. Okay. I, I'm not going to do it. So go, just, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start just, you know, you might dip the fingers a little bit to get, start getting accustomed to it. Believe me, it, it's a little more than warm. It, it feels on the hot side, but it's not going to burn your skin. So you have to go in gently, and once yeah. you get in there and get used to it, it's like in a, jumping in a hot tub of water. It's a little warm at first, so, but then it's very yeah, good. Then, uh, now I'm really adjusting to it. Now, there. I really want to, we don't have it probably filled up as much as I'd like to see it, but mm -hmm. I really want to get it way up into the, the wrist. Above the wrist. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and keep working it here. Now, yeah, Repeat. get it up so they can see that. Now, turn your hands this way. Yep. So he's got one layer. I probably should have my fingers apart, too, so get it in between the fingers. Exactly. So, so you're not going to be able to go, you won't be able to go down quite as far because it's a tapered, right. uh, tapered. Uh, so I'd cup. say four or five times. And yeah. then you got to let the drips come off. Yeah. 
you know, and I know you might even say leave it up and dry a little bit longer between dips. Oh, so, sure. So that it builds up more. It's like putting a coat of paint on, you know, you want to give it, let it dry a little bit before you put the next coat of paint on. But for, for speed's sake, and it, this is really fun. And yeah. then, you know, it's really hard to simulate this in, 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 in trying to get the warmth like this. It's so encompassing. You know, I mean, it really, yeah. really does work really quite well. And there we go. And now, you know, what's nice about this is you can leave this on. I mean, you can you can leave this on a good half hour or longer. There's no really no limit. I mean, it's not like a, a hot pack that could burn you or right. something like that. It's, I mean, it's going to cool get. down whenever it cools down. But you, you put the plastic on so you can ins or isolate it. Then you can put insulate, this yeah. insulator on sure. without getting the plastic on anything else. And as it cools down, you'll see how nice this comes off. You might think, how am I going to get that wax off my hand? Well, you, you'll see it's, it's slicker and slicker. Yeah, and the thing is, so yeah, 15 minutes to 45 minutes, you want to allow the oil, oils to penetrate the skin, for one thing. Sure. So that, that'll help soften the skin. And uh, here, they got a nice little Velcro thing here so we can tighten it up a little bit. Oh, they do. Yeah, it's kind of handy so. dandy. Okay, again, the wax well works out really well. <laughs> and, and what we, I've, I've never had these. I've always just take a towel and wrap, you know, I just use, you know, any plastic bag I could, I could get a hold of. And usually it was, a, you know, a clean garbage bag, to be honest with you, but it's right out of the box. Put that on, put that on, and then wrap the towel yeah, around again, it and let the patient. I've done the same things. Yeah. Uh, one thing we were so anxious to start dipping, we forgot to, Brad, really before you dip, you want to inspect the skin. Right. And, and even use a disinfectant. Sure. I, I would go ahead, and especially if you're using this among other people. Sure. Uh, I would use the disinfectant, and then I'd also make sure you don't have any open scars. Right, good point. And take off your wedding ring. I would probably, <laughs> I'd probably do all those things yeah. there before, you, yep. before you move forward here. So If it's a real smooth ring like, you know, like my wedding ring, I could probably clean it off pretty easy, but if you've got yeah. you know, some really fine uh, jewelry, it's, it's not good for that. So we're going to go ahead and remove the bag here. And then where am I going to put this now, Brad? What's I can't that? put it back in. Do you have a garbage can? Well, just take it off. We'll get it somewhere. Okay. So again, you can just work your way off here. Go, do a little of this. There you go. I'm uh, not even doing a little bit of that. Uh, just... you, look at that. You don't even have to work it a little bit. I'll just put it in the bag. Yeah. Look at that. Ta-da. There you go. And then it's recommended to take the old wax and discard it. Discard throw it away. Yeah. Yep. Can you give me a towel, Brad? All right. After what's really good right after you've done the wax is to do some exercises with the hand. So uh, this is a common what we call at Mayo Clinic when I worked there is the six pack because um, there's six exercises. For oh, the hand. don't get get it confused with having a six pack out. No, no. <laughs> do the six pack exercises. But let's let's start off with some of them, Brad. One's the tabletop. Yep. And my, my, I have a hard time with the tabletop. Yep. But and you can go up to, into the claw from the tabletop. Yep. Tabletop, claw, yeah. tabletop, claw. And I think it would be fine for, like, I'm, I'm assisting. I'm using my other hand to stabilize my wrist just so my fingers move yep. if you want to isolate yep. the finger joints. And then you can go ahead to a full fist. Where you take it all the way down into the crease, the hand, right. and the fingers are going all the way down into the crease. Now I've had patients after surgery, for a month or two after surgery, and they can't do this. I say take the other hand and gently close it if you want to stretch it into that full fist, if that's the goal. Um, so you know you can give a little passive range. Um, then we're going to do just the ha the half, or, no, more like this. I'm sorry. This is this one where you, I call it the duck. I don't know. I just look like a duck beak to me. Well, yeah. I think it looks like Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street. But anyways, yeah, so we're trying to isolate different joints and to get right. them all to move, you know, so there's nothing real special going on here. We just want well, Sometimes movement. you can uh, isolate, if you want to isolate on a finger, you yep. can just actually move each joint like that. And then the, the last one, I don't really remember the six, there was five of them that I remember, Brad. The la number five would be touching each finger like this. Right. So you're getting some strengthening and some coordination done with this one as well. It, this looks is really easy, but after an injury or if you've got painful hands, this can be for pretty challenging to get all five, all four touches. And you certainly may want to do some wrist exercises yeah. too, the flexion, extension. Uh, I always like this one, Brad, where you take it and turn it out like right. this. So twist down and, and turn rotate. Out. This down, turn out. So repetitions on all this these. Way. Probably around 10 repetitions is a good place to start. 
10 to 15, just so you have an idea. And I want to introduce just a few of these, Brad. We're going to be showing these in another video, but these are also by FEI. Um, and these are their can do uh, extra hand exercises. Sure. And they have quite a few of them. They're really quite cool. This is probably the, I, I'm guessing that was their first generation. It's the Digiflex. Yeah, we'll get a little so, closer. Yeah, here. you can work, work each finger. How is that, Lonnie? Well, oh, wait a Don't go, move Brad. the camera. I'll get it. Fear not. You sure how dur durable it is because. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't have to worry about dropping them, that's for sure. Um, the nice thing about it is, is you do each finger individually. And you can see my ring finger is weaker and it gets harder and harder. And these are, the, the color of the, of the uh, tool designates the resistance of the springs, I believe, because we have uh, well, yeah, the this more now, advanced model. This is the more advanced model. model. This is the Digiflex multi-hand exerciser. And what, what the difference between this one is you can actually remove these and take them out and put in different, uh, different resistance. This is really cool, bro. Right. So I don't know if I've even opened up yet, Brad. Oh, Bob, I'll, I'll get it open. Don't worry. So you worry. can go ahead and, and you can, if you can put a different resistance for each finger. Yeah. Right. Is well, what show you them how do. it works. So I think if you're a, a, a horn player, trombone player, you'll be not a trombone, but a trumpet. Trumpet, yep. So, yeah, this one, you know, this, my smaller two fingers are not as strong, and so they're a little more, they're working harder. So I'd probably like to have a, a lesser resistance on this. Right. Where these can actually you know, are quite strong. Right, so, and this would be really effective if after a stroke or if you've had a surgery on your hand and you really want to strengthen, you know, a couple fingers that have been damaged and yeah. um, they need to work. This is a cool set. We're going to be giving away some of these, by the oh, way, excellent. eventually. So I want to play with this, Bob. And the last one I thought, too, was quite clever is, uh, I believe this is called the Flex and Extend. Um, so they got a, using a ball, they have slots for your fingers. And you can squeeze the ball, but you can also work on extending your fingers. So you can work on, on strengthening the extenders, which is difficult to do. So this works out really well for that. I don't got these all hooked up quite the way they should be, but um, there we go. Now she'll, she gives good resistance to each finger. And then I can squeeze and I can extend. Squeeze and extend. Really quite clever, Brad. Yeah. They've, they've done a great job. You still haven't gotten that off, have you? Yeah, Brad? I have. Look at that. This is. Oh, you push that little button in. Yeah. Is that ever cool? And they go off. Uh, what are the size? They got uh, 13 pounds down to 0.75 pounds. Oh, so yeah. You go to the range. Oh, look so at that. That's really Much easy. easier than this. So that's where my pinky. Look at that. I, this really encourages me to start playing a, a trumpet, Bob. But no, it was really nice. This is a great, great, great set. Great Wonderful. set, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching, okay. everybody. Take care.